New here at 6, May is Brain Tumor Awareness Month, and with more than 700,000 people living with brain and spinal diagnoses, Northwestern Medicine is hosting its 16th annual Minds Matter Gala this Friday, May 10th. The gala supports advancements in research and care. I have the honor of serving as mistress's ceremonies for the third year, I think it is. Robert Kondik, a glioblastoma survivor, and Dr. James Chandler, neurosurgeon and co-director of the Malnati Brain Tumor Institute at Northwestern Medicine, join me to discuss the upcoming event and the life-saving care it funds. Thank you both for being here today. Let's talk first uh, with you, Robert. You found out you had glioblastoma in 2016. No, 2006. 2000, Tell me how you, you found 2006, out. 2006, yes. How'd you, how'd you find out? I was losing strength in my left hand. I was losing strength in my left hand, and uh, I have a friend who's a doctor at Northwestern, and uh, she forced me to get an MRI immediately, and I was admitted on uh, August 17th. Of 2006, and the following day, I was operated on by Dr. James Chandler. Sc scared you to death, didn't it? Yes, yes. The first surgery was very scary. I bet. Yes. But going to Northwestern, knowing the research they've done, kind of made you feel a little bit better, didn't it? Yes, yes. The first first few years were were very difficult, but I had 10 years of uh, no tumor mm -hmm. from the first first uh, from 2006. My second surgery was 2016. So I think it becomes, with Northwestern as a premier institution in the United States and under the skillful guidance of mm -hmm. Dr. Chandler here, I've, you know, I have no fear. And your forward. last surgery, July of 2023. Correct, right? July 26th of 2023. Now, Dr. Chandler, it's, it's patients like these that the Lou Malnati Brain Institute helps, and you need the funding to help people like this, don't you? And the research, which changes yearly, doesn't it? Absolutely. The, the diagnosis that Robert faced has a mean survival of about 18 months. And here he is 18 years later. And the way we're able to achieve that is cutting edge clinical care, the, the best that surgery has to offer, uh, groundbreaking research that comes up with new technologies, new treatments that Robert has been the recipient of. And the idea is to, to fund our scientists, our clinical care providers, to give our patients the uh, best journey possible for such a terrible disease. Since 2006, has research like gone up in leaps and bounds? I mean, since 20, when you were first diagnosed, I'm sure it's changed dramatically. You know, it's not a very common uh, cancer. It's not. And uh, as such, there's not a lot of research dollars being infused mm. into the problem, which is why this event is so important. And yes, we've made tremendous strides through recruitment of some of the most talented clinicians and scientists from around the world, and uh, they deliver. And they deliver new treatments that uh, have never been uh, utilized in, in humans before that are making a difference in terms of overall survival. And we couldn't be more thrilled to celebrate the lives of our, our patients and all care providers with this event that you so graciously oh, have hosted course. for now. Three you, years. you look great, you feel great. I feel wonderful. And I'm sure that you feel, I mean, you, you attest a lot of that to, to Dr. Chandler and all that he's done and all the Brain Institute has done, right? Yes, the Brain Institute is really on the cutting edge of technology and the transfer of technology between institutions and uh, other treatments that are coming down the line. I'm more optimistic than I ever was. It's, it's a different story than it was in 2006, oh, what yeah. I believe. And, and that's needed, especially since you said his cancer is so rare. You raised $500,000 last year, right? Yes, and we're on pace to raise even more this year. Wow. And there's still tickets available? There are still tickets uh, available. I, I don't know the website, probably MalnatiBrainTumorInstitute.com. Yeah. Oh, people and, can Google and, it. They'll and, find and it. <laughs> it's really a lot of fun. Yeah. As, as you know, yes. we're, we're celebrating the lives of our patients, and uh, it's a party. We have a, a world-renowned comedian this year, Tom Dreesen. Tom Dreesen, yes. The gentleman of leisure. Uh, playing their hits, yeah. and so it's going to be a real celebration. Because minds really do matter, don't they, Robert? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's and, amazing and, um, that back in 2006, you probably thought it was a death sentence, didn't you? I did. I did. The first year was, was living in fear, and, and, uh, but as, as time went on, it was, you know, you learn to deal with it. You learn to deal with it, and you, and you have to have perseverance. But a positive attitude goes a long way, yeah. and I remember when I gave him the diagnosis, which is a diagnosis you never want to get. Right. And he told me, I'm going to be a survivor. I'm going to beat the odds. And mm -hmm. here we are 18 years later, and his most recent brain scan was clear. But that was yes. like a two-year, two years usually survival rate? A little less than two A little years. less. Oh, wow. And here it is, 18. 
It was years. twelve. To, it was twelve to eighteen months at wow. the time in two thousand and six. Well, congratulations yeah. to you. Congratulations Thank you. to you. And folks, come on out. Go to the website and find out about how you can go right there. Friday, May 10th, come and hang out with us and we're going to have a good time and raise money for a very good charity. Dr. Chandler, Robert, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for thank having you us. Thank you very much.